Welcome back to the 215 in Andalusia. They have a lot of walking paths, just, and most of it's shaded. I mean, it's nice. Uh, I want to do a serious story for you now. You know, a lot of young people in the LGBTQ community feel discrimination on a daily basis. Thank goodness for the Attic Youth Center, a place where they can feel safe. The Youth Attic in the Mazzoni Center is just, they've been blessings in my life. I lived with my mom until I was 18, and it was just like suppress, 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 judgment, judgment, judgment. A lot of the youth that we serve identify as LGBTQ. I um, work with youth between the ages of 14 and 23. We have resources, but we can also connect them to other resources in the city if we don't have what they need. As a trans woman, it can become very, very threatening. You believe, all right, that happened to somebody else. That would never happen to me. But me recently living on the streets and actually being able to like experience life for myself, Trauma can be abandonment issues, rejection, coming out to their families, not being accepted, not being supported, bullying in school. We help them to navigate relationships with their partners as well, and just people in general that they come in contact with. We had a big open house, we had a great turnout, about 100 individuals, that's including families. We complete biopsychosocial assessments of them in reference to like understanding their upbringing and the challenges that they've kind of faced growing up in society um, related to different layers of oppressions. This was a safe haven, second home. I would have never stopped cutting myself to be honest because I suffer, I suffer, I suffer with a lot of self-loathing. It's kind of sad when a person comes up to you and you're like, I don't want to be here no more. And that breaks my heart because I try myself so hard to like not have vicarious trauma or secondary trauma from their experiences, but I can't help but to be human and empathize with this person. I feel like they're trying to break the generational curses in reference to how they were raised. You know, like growing up sometimes, your parents was like, you don't have feelings. You can't tell me how you feel, or they don't want you to express to them how they feel because it's like you don't pay the bills. But at the same time, it's like, but I am a person, I have feelings, and I, I want them to be heard, and I kind of want you to respect it. But I feel like it's a give and take with that, and I feel like parents aren't ready for that level yet, which, because I feel like they think it's disrespectful. But I don't think it's disrespectful. I, I think you're not allowing your kid to grow up in a nurturing or a healthy environment if you don't allow them a freedom of expression. Because not only do they have to deal with you in the world, they still have to go out there and deal with people at their jobs, people in school. Like, how do you expect them to have confidence or gain confidence if they can't exhibit that in their own home? It's just like once I came out, it's like you could go, like you could go live on the streets. So if you're already in a place of depression or in a place of having anxiety, I always tell people like depression is based off of past experiences. And then your anxiety is based off of, that anxiety is based off of future anticipation, right? And then if you have a combination of the two, how can you presently stay grounded in the present moment? It's kind of difficult, so it's kind of hard um, pulling people up out of places where they've sunken into a deep hole, especially when it's like your mental health. And a lot of times some of them don't have the coping skills to kind of like, pull themselves out of it. And what we do, we do provide coping skills for youth in reference to just teaching them how to reframe how they think in reference to their situation. A thank you to the Attic Center. Thank you for what you do. All right, after the break, we will cut to one of my favorite barbers in Philly.